Good morning, students. Here we start with the development of kidneys, in which there will be two different topics: the ascent of the kidney and rotation of the kidney. So after the metanephric kidney has developed, its collecting part, its excretory part, there will be two phenomena which will take place, and that will be the ascent of the kidney as well as rotation of the kidney. So therefore, in the ascent of the kidney, we just draw a flow chart in which we will show that the kidneys first of all they are within the pelvic cavity this is the box <coughs> suggesting pelvic cavity so within the pelvic cavity we show these two kidneys initially the kidneys they are directed <coughs> the hilum is directed anteriorly so these are the two kidneys hilum directed anteriorly right and left kidneys which are present in the pelvic cavity so initially the kidneys metanephric kidneys as they develop they will lie within the peri <coughs> pelvic cavity and metanephric kidneys how they develop that we have seen that is the collecting portion and excretory portion so after the development of metanephric kidney the kidneys are present in the pelvic cavity from here they will ascend so they will ascend in the iliac fossa they will cross the pelvic brim on the way they are going to cross the pelvic brim so once they cross the pelvic brim they will reach the iliac fossa and in the iliac fossa once again the kidneys will be lying in this way these are the kidneys the two kidneys with their hilum directed anteriorly now after the iliac fossa they will again migrate or they will again ascend upwards they will ascend upwards from the iliac fossa <coughs> till the inferior surface of diaphragm so they will then reach the inferior surface of diaphragm and this inferior surface of diaphragm this is the place where the permanent place of the adult metanephric kidney will be there and their further growth will be arrested by the already present suprarenal glands so the suprarenal glands will arrest the further upward ascent of the kidney so therefore the permanent position of the kidneys will be just below the diaphragm and therefore once we draw these two kidneys below the diaphragm we will show the kidneys now they have undergone rotation so this is how you show the kidneys they have undergone rotation coming to rotation afterwards first during the ascent of the kidneys these three structures you need to remember this is often asked as viva or one mark question answer or an mcq initially the first stage the kidney is present where in the pelvic cavity second stage the kidney will ascend in the iliac fossa third stage it will ascend just below the diaphragm now respective blood supply this respective blood supply is very much asked in mcq one mark question answer when the kidneys are in the pelvic cavity it will receive the blood supply from median sacral artery so here i will show that this is the median sacral artery here we have to write this as median sacral artery so median sacral artery is the blood supply of the kidneys when they are in pelvic cavity very frequently asked mcq second very frequently asked mcq as the kidneys ascend in the iliac fossa the blood supply which is received by the kidneys when they are in the iliac fossa will be from common iliac and internal iliac arteries so here you need to mention the common as well as internal iliac arteries so therefore we are going to mention these two as common iliac as well as <coughs> internal iliac arteries this is what you need to mention so common iliac and internal iliac arteries they will give their blood supply to the kidneys when they are in iliac fossa and third stage just below the diaphragm the kidney will receive the blood supply from the kidney will receive the blood supply from the lowest suprarenal arteries so it will receive the blood supply from this lowest suprarenal artery so here we need to mention this as lowest suprarenal artery and this lowest suprarenal artery will then be converted into renal arteries so it will become the renal arteries it will be then afterwards named as renal arteries so renal arteries will develop from lowest suprarenal 
arteries. So when the kidneys are in a position just below the diaphragm, as they have ascended up from their iliac fossa position, when the kidneys ascend just below the diaphragm, they will receive blood supply from lowest suprarenal arteries. And this lowest suprarenal artery will then be converted into renal arteries. All these three arteries, they are asked as MCQs, one mark question answers, viva, etc. So all these three arteries are very important. Please note down these three arteries. Supplying the blood to the three kidneys in its position, developmental position. So this entire process is known as ascent of the kidney. Now rotation of kidney. In the rotation of kidney, but before we start with rotation, what are the factors which will cause the ascent of the kidney? There are three factors which will cause the ascent of the kidney. The three factors which cause this ascent of the kidney will be, factor number one will be constant elongating of the ureteric bud. We have seen this during development of collecting part of metanephric kidney. So constant elongation of here, constant elongation of ureteric bud. This is what I write, constant elongation of ureteric bud. Number two, the second factor which will cause ascent of the kidney will be <clears throat> the continuous or the kidneys as they continuously increase in size during their growth, there will be a too narrow space present in pelvic cavity. So therefore, the space within the pelvic cavity will be very very small or very very less to accom accom accommodate the entire growth of the kidneys during its development. So, so to accommodate the entire growth of the kidneys during its development, you require bigger space. Because of less space or smaller space available in the pelvic cavity, the kidneys they have to ascend. And third factor will be diminution in fetal curvatures. The fetal curvatures will disappear. So therefore, there will be constant decrease in the fetal curvatures or diminution in the size of fetal curvatures or fetal curvatures will slowly decrease and the fetus will slowly straighten up. Because of these three factors, the third is the diminution in the fetal curvatures. Because of these three factors, the kidneys will ascend. Now rotation of kidney. As we have seen, initially the kidney will be in such a way that the hilum of kidney is facing anteriorly. But as it ascends to its final position below the diaphragm, it will rotate 90 degrees medially. The hilum will rotate 90 degrees medially. This is the hilum. So initially the hilum is anteriorly, now the hilum is medially. It will rotate 90 degrees medially. This is called the medial rotation of the kidney 90 degrees. So the hilum will come to face medially and therefore it will be known as the medial rotation of the kidneys and this medial rotation of the kidneys will take place once the kidneys reach the adult position that is below the diaphragm. So therefore here we come to the end of the topic of the development of the kidneys. Today we have understood the ascent of the kidney as well as rotation of the kidney. Thank you very much.